Thank you so much. Uh, first, I just want to make sure everyone can hear me. Okay. Uh, first thing I want to say, I'm not an inventor. I'm a fake inventor. Honestly, I'm saying this. Um, I'll just show you my experience as, as a short story, just to pick the lesson if you can pick it. And if you can't pick it, you have to pick it, OK? Um, so why I'm here? People think I'm smart. I'm a hard worker and I'm genius, maybe. I asked them many times, what do you think of me? Because I can't see what's the real thing they think. I was just saying now, um, maybe I'm not appreciating what I'm doing, but I know the truth. Some people, they hate to show others the ugly side of the project or the black side, but I'm happy to show you the truth, just to make sure everyone can be like me. Her name is Jessica Cox. As a lazy student, I was watching TV, careless. I don't care about my homework or assignments. I was just impressed by her. I saw a reportage. She was talking about her life, how she can manage her life using only her feet, as she was born armless. And she was the world's first pilot as an, arm, an armless pilot. And, that, and then, at that point, I had a question. How can she do that? Usually, when we ask ourselves, how can we do this, we stop at that question. And I'm telling you the, the truth. Like, you have to use Google. I'm not a friend of Google founders, but this is a very nice way to find your questions. Find just the, question, the answer of your question, just to start the spark. I googled her name, I found her website, and simply I sent her an email. Hi, my name is Reem, I like what you're doing, and just tell me, how can you do this? She just replied, I do it using my feet. But in long distances, she has back pains and her feet get sleep. So she was just telling me, like, I can do this, but not for long time, especially when driving cars. And here I had another question. Is driving cars are much harder than flying planes? I thought it's opposite. But I'm an architect student, and it's, I was in my very first year in university. All what I know is math, physics, chemistry, and some sketches. And now she's talking about engines. So I was just like, OK, let's do this. I went to my instructor, and I told him, I heard about this lady. She's doing this and that. And I really want to have a project involving this case of people. He said, OK, fine, just do this. And the day of the presentation, um, I had many questions. How I will be doing this alone, as no one knows actually me, me, myself. I, I didn't know where I'm, I'm going to. I just uh, thought of finding a way to solve this problem, but how? Uh, it's not my problem. I'm not going to think about my major, my, maybe my nature, as being a lady going to workshops with guys. Sorry, guys, but I had many funny comments. And guys, they were trying to say, like, they said to me, where is your Barbie doll? This is not a place to play with. These are dangerous engines, and you are an architect student. You don't know how to do this. As they said, I don't, you don't know, that was like a bet. Uh, and don't bet, ladies, OK? <laughs> so um, I just tried to like push the limit. As being an architect student, I thought I can only do buildings, designs, maybe problem solving related to buildings. I felt like I'm inside a bubble. Someone needs to push it away. Why not reading about mechanics? Why not Googling it? I hate books. I hate studying. And by the way, I am a C student. I'm not an A student. Everyone thinks I'm smart, but I'm not. <laughs> OK? So I just uh, simply Googled, how can we do this? And trust me, everything is easy. You just have to know where to start from. And by using only Google, trust me, I'm 
And I'm emphasizing this point because I know people hate heavy books and they feel afraid like, I have to study all this, I have to solve all these problems. No, it took from me only two months to end up with an invention. I didn't work every day in these two months. I played, I was WhatsApping my friends, spending so much time playing my video game and inventing. So I had my sketches as a very beginner student. At that time, I was in my first year in my university. I didn't know how even to use programs. I proposed to my instructor these uh, proposals, and he was like, yeah, that's good, that's possible, but I'm sorry, you failed. That project, I failed, and I'm proudly saying that. He said, uh, yes, you did the nice thing, but that's an impossible idea. Not everything you're thinking of, you can do this. I know some of instructors, oh, I mean, all of them are good. I'm not trying to say my instructor is well, okay. <laughs> but you have to know, you have to learn how to affect, to not allow anyone to affect your inner inventor. I thought maybe I'm doing something new and maybe I'm breaking the rules. My brothers, they were just saying like, Reem, what are you doing? Yesterday you were playing and today you think you're gonna be smart suddenly? I said, maybe, who knows? And just protect yourself, like, save it. You remember the bubble I told you about? Try to push it inside and save your inner inventor. Trust me, everyone had a new idea inside themselves. And you know, the funny part, from where I got that idea of the car? How can we drive cars? using only our feet. Cartoon, Flintstone, if you watch it, he was moving the vehicle using his feet. So I was like, let's do this. Yes, it's crazy. I get crazy ideas from cartoon, from kids, from maybe some dreams while sleeping. We, I don't know why everyone thinks these are maybe, we have to neglect these kind of ideas and stick to smart ideas with big names, no. Trust me, these are the beginnings of changing the new lifestyle. Today, we all use our hands and feet while driving cars. And just by having an idea from the cartoon and applying it in real life without listening to anyone's, I had a new vision of having a double system. Since we have a free hand now, we can fly, fly the car at the same time. And currently we are developing this to have a double engine. So see how things are going on? Um, I didn't feel shy to work with guys, although it was a bit hard for me, especially they always and always and always think they are smarter than ladies and they own the mechanic more than ladies, but no. We do makeup, we do fashion, and we do engine. Trust me, okay? So, uh, and then, um, after failing at that project, I just decided to work on this individually. I said, okay, no one believes in my idea, so what? I believe in it. I have a very strong, positive energy inside. I need to show everyone what I think of. At least, I will show some, some respect to Jessica Fox, who I promised her. So I just started to develop my best alternative. And um, applying it out of scratch, because since I didn't have money at that time, because uh, no one believes in it, I had to depend on myself and have my very sketchy and trashy prototype. I ended up with this uh, horrible looking vehicle, and I just said to everyone, this is an invention. Here, everyone just, they tried to listen to me at that time when I had the, a touchable thing. Because you know, we're still human. And most of people, they don't believe in imagination. We have to believe in this. Not, you don't have to touch everything to believe it. But that was the worst part of my story. I had to do this just to convene people and to show them this is real and you can really drive it. After that, they just decided to, okay, now she deserves a patent, and now you are an inventor. 
So suddenly I see students, a very careless student. I hate studying. I hate it. I hate it. And I just love inventing because inventions have, have nothing to do with studying who you are, where did you study, what's your degree. It has nothing. It's all about what you believe in it. And um, this is another picture of the horrible vehicle. And that's me. So um, you know Albert Einstein, I guess. He's the best inventor on earth. He was always saying it's all about imagination, not education. Just to make sure about that. And that's it. Thank you so much.